some people don't go to church because they're trying to get closer to God so they can be better people towards people. They go to church for selfish reasons, for they, you know, like for money, or so because they're scared to go to hell. So it's even for selfish reasons, but God still want their attention. You know what I'm saying? He wants you to, you know, he like all attention that he can get from us. So even though he's still gonna bless them people because they, you know, they're trying to find them and this and that, and he could probably try to use them, you know, find a way to get it. But a lot of people ain't really, they don't look at God as, you know, you be good, you be good to people, he'll like you as well. I mean, like you be good to people, he'll, you know, that mean you're closer to God if you treat people better. You know, people don't look at it like that. A lot of people don't look at it like that. They look at it as, I go to church for myself, for my personal gain, for my blessings, for my healing, and I'm gonna instinctively treat you how I, I want to treat you, based on your, based on your, uh, based on your, um, you know, your status, based on your worldly accomplishments based on how other people treat you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all that. So that's how they do it. They, they don't really have a heart for God. They just have a, you know, a fear, a fear of going to hell and they wanna use God as an ATM. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give I want this, I want that. You know, so some people think they can buy their way to heaven. They think they can try to be perfect and work self-righteous self to heaven. You know, based on, like it's a point system, like God working on a point system. God not working on a point system, he working on a connection. It's either you connected or not. Now some people, based on their faith, they might be more closer to God, might have a higher, might have a more of anointing, you know. They might have a higher, a stronger anointing based on their belief and their, how, how sensitive they are to uh, his presence. He, he might can do more, you know, use them more. You know what I'm saying, but um, it's not, it's not about a, um, you know, it's not about a point system. Like I do this, I do that. You know what I'm saying. Now, a lot of the stuff you know you doing, the works that you do, that's on you. Like that's uh, that's that's on you. You know, it's not gonna get you to heaven. That's that's all on. That's for your safety. That ain't for God's safety. God don't. You're not giving God a favor by doing uh. You're not giving God a favor by doing things that don't hurt you and hurt others. All sins are stuff that hurt you and others or others. But you're not giving God a favor for that. A lot of people think they're giving God a favor. Oh, no, he's not mad at you. He just don't, you know, of course he loves you. He don't want you hurting yourself or hurting people. Anything that's going to make you distracted or make you worship it, he got a problem with it. So that's what that's all about. But a lot of people don't know. They don't. They don't know. They think that. They think that God is walking around with a hammer or a whip, or writing down all your. You know. No, he's just looking at your heart, and he he set certain things in motion, that if you keep doing this, it will hurt you, and it hurt other people. So it's a sin, because he don't. We want the best for you, but he's not. He's not working on. You know. He's not looking for you to make a mistake and writing it down and counting all this weighing process. It's just you connected and you have a fear, you know. He, he's weighing your heart, he's weighing your love for him, he's weighing, he's, he's weighing your intentions. But, you know, and it, you know, he just wants you to be connected with him, you know, rely on him and have faith in Jesus. And then you, you, you'll go to heaven, but, you know, based on your faith and stuff like that, you can produce a lot of stuff through the Holy Spirit a lot of success and, you know, like a lot of prosperity and stuff on your own. I mean, God, he, he'll put his finger on you when he's ready to bless you. But a lot of this stuff you can get, he gave you the power to get a lot of this stuff as well. You know, the Holy Spirit and he gave you the power to, to get, get a lot of stuff on as well. But he's not going to, the Holy Spirit ain't going to give you a lot of stuff that's going to destroy you. The Holy Spirit not going to give you a lot of stuff that's going to, um, He's not going to give you a lot of stuff that's going to um, take your attention off of him. You know what I'm saying? That's not his goal, to take your attention off of him. Off of, uh, that's not his goal, to take your attention off of um, him. So if, if you want something that's going to take your attention off of him, you're not going to get it. So you can forget that. But if you can handle it, 
and it, it ain't gonna take your attention. And he'll do it. He'll give you what. He'll give you money or whatever else you want if it's if it's if it's gonna enhance your ability to do his work and spread his you know his word. Even though it's all around, you still gotta do your part because it's a spiritual warfare and there's demons everywhere. They in your family. They at the job, at your workout, at your gym. They at the cashier. They everywhere. So you never know. With, with that, that headache in your head could be a demon trying to, you know, trying to catch you while you weak, catch you while you slipping. So you just got to keep your head up. Understand that the devil don't sleep, don't take naps at all. So that's what all I got to say about that. Um, I'm Alan, Alan Williams, the real you near. You know who I, most of y'all know who I am. Just checking in with y'all. Um. I got two new songs coming out soon, um, but right now just subscribe to all my um, YouTube pages. I got quite a few. I got quite a few uh, on Instagram. Just put in Allen underscore Rillionaire, and uh, most of my pages, Instagram pages, will pop up. So you can subscribe to my Instagram pages too. Um, that's pretty pretty much it. Seek God for the love of God, and uh, try to get to have your heart right. Try not to just deal with God on a selfish basis like how we deal with people, you know what I'm saying? So